Okay, so today I'm underneath a 2017 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, and I wanted to talk about the importance of uh, removing the oil, lower oil pan and inspecting the oil pickup tube. I think it's really critical towards the uh, to ensure the life a long lifespan for these engines. Um, I've seen on a, not on this particular engine, but on other vehicles, I've seen this oil pickup tube. Uh, just uh, completely just choke and uh, clog up with uh, gunk. And that gunk, it tends to be plastic and rubber debris. And I believe it's from uh, up at the valve cover. Uh, essentially, if the diesel injectors, if they start to lose a seal right at the crush washer, um, the, the hot uh, combustion gases from the combustion chamber, from the cylinders, it sneaks past the, uh, the seal on the injector it goes up the tube and then it um, pretty much cooks or uh, tears up the valve cover and that in turn dumps a bunch of uh, plastic and rubber debris into the oil pan and then it gets sucked up into here and it clogs up this and then it'll cause oil pressure issues. So that's one theory for uh, a potential source is from the uh, pretty much failing uh, injector uh, sealing washers, uh, you know, those crushed uh, copper washers. Uh, another theory I have, too, is that uh, the soot from the EGR system, uh, it works its way into the Eco Diesel oil. And on every Eco Diesel, you'll see the oil always looks really bad, um, usually really black and nasty. And it's from, uh, you know, the soot, it goes into the combustion chamber, it works its way past the, uh, the piston rings, and eventually it's going to contaminate the oil. And I think, on especially on vehicles where guys are maybe changing the oil every 10,000 miles or so, which, by the way, don't do. That's absolutely crazy. Um, I don't care what oil it is, if it's, you know, the most expensive oil you can find or the cheapest you can find. It does not matter. Change your oil on these engines. Every five to 6,000 miles is great. That's a really good idea. Don't do 10,000 miles. Um, but anyway... On every Eco Diesel engine, regardless of oil change intervals, you always see really nasty oil. And my theory is that the uh, the soot from the EGR system it contaminates the oil in the crankcase, and it just uh, forms a bunch of nasty sludge in the lower oil pan, and it gets sucked up into here, and causes oil pressure issues. So you can see I have the, the oil pan hung up over here. Um, that's the inside of it. I have it cleaned up. You can see this is where, uh, that's the oil drain plug. That's towards the rear of the engine or towards the, uh, the rear axle. This is towards the front of the truck. And I wanted, this X here illustrates where that oil pickup tube, where that lands on the oil pan. And it's pretty tight to the oil pan, but it, it sits right about there. And my point is with that is that you can, with a specific type of bore scope, um, you can sneak it up through uh, the drain plug hole. And uh, and I'm talking about the boroscopes that have a flexible end on them that you can control. Um, they have a little knob by the screen. And as you twist that knob, it um, rotates the end of the, the camera. So I just want to illustrate that's where the oil pickup tube lands. And you can just barely see if you sneak that camera up there and then rotate the end of it with the knob, you can just barely see the underside of that screen um, so that might save you the trouble of removing the oil pan, but overall, it's really not bad removing this oil pan. Um, it's a bunch of, uh, eight millimeter bolts, um, from the factory, they use, uh, RTV to seal it. So this on the engine oil pan here and this upper oil pan is perfectly smooth. And then on the uh, lower oil pan, they actually have it, uh, machined very roughly to, for RTV. Um, I'm actually going to use... If I, can, if I know what I did with it. All right, this Felpro gasket, that's the part number right there. And I'll, I'll include a link in the description for uh, this oil pan gasket and for the camera that I'm talking about. But anyway, the oil pan gasket is OS30887. Um, you can see it's got this bead of red silicone and it's on both sides of the gasket. So I'm going to install this gasket as it is dry. I'm not going to put anything else on it and uh, see how it goes. But um, that is an exact fit intended for uh, uh, Ram Eco Diesel engines. Um, I'm not too sure if the Grand Cherokee, if they use a different oil pan, but 
Um, this certainly applies to Ram uh, Eco Diesels. But yeah, that's it. I mean, I just want to say that removing the lower oil pan, it's, you know, it can be kind of tough because uh, the RTV acts like a glue or cement. But I used a, uh, <laughs> what you're not supposed to use the tool for. This is a uh, generic uh, high carbon steel uh, scraper, but it's nice and thin. You could also use a screwdriver too. But I just very carefully hammered it in right there until I popped the seal. I did it right there and on this corner right here. In doing that carefully too, I mean, it makes you a little nervous doing it because you feel like you're going to crack the oil pan, but eventually it pops and the oil pan easily drops down and it sneaks out. Um, no need to remove this uh, frame crossbar here or anything else. So, um, so yeah, if you coincide this with doing an oil change, I think this is a really simple thing you can do to just for peace of mind to let you know that this oil pan screen is not completely just choked up with junk causing which would cause oil pressure issues and would certainly cause your your main bearings to uh spin in the block or to go out so this i think it's a pretty important thing to do um yeah and that's pretty much it so I'm trying to think what else i can add to that yeah, well, I'm going to put this oil pan back on and then uh, I'm going to use uh, the camera to illustrate uh, exactly what you can see of that screen through the drain plug port. Okay, so here's my very precariously set up uh, boroscope. You can see uh, I have it running up through the oil pan there. And I have it, again, this is the model that you can rotate the end of the camera with uh, this knob right here. And you can see, just to prove that it's possible, there you go, and that's part of the oil pan screen right there. So you could use this tool to uh, avoid dropping the oil pan and just see if uh, you can uh, inspect it through there. I think I'm gonna develop a habit of doing this every oil change. Um, I could get a better view than this, um, but again, I've only got two hands and I've gotta hold up this uh, camera, so. But uh, I just want to show that it, it is possible to use a boroscope to inspect through the drain plug hole um, the condition of the oil pickup screen. So you can see there, that's how it should look uh, with the perforated holes uh, as clean as can be. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, like anybody else, I want to keep this engine running in, in excellent shape for a long time to come. So um, you have to be proactive and uh, you know, do what you got to do to keep it on the road. So yeah, hopefully that helps you out and uh, thanks for watching.